wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. They like shaking their little butt when you hold them like that. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. All right, to the crab pots to you. Hey, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Something Fishy. Today we're gonna highlight one of my flies I tied last night. This is a semi-seal bait fish pattern, basically. Um, the fish that I'm fishing for today is the Sacramento Pike Minnow. I'm in the, the Russian River. Our goal today is to remove as many as possible and keep them for crab snares. And we're gonna try to do some work with the crabs this weekend. And uh, if we can catch a bunch of these guys, it'll be great bait. And we also get to remove them from the river, which is definitely gonna improve the salmonoid population in the future. So I'm out here just about every week doing my work, trying to get as many of these out of here. And uh, hopefully you can get a bunch. There is no size limits and there is no quantity limits. So free for all, pretty, pretty, for the most part. All right, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and let's get to it. Let's remove these little bastards. So what we're basically doing with this fish here, we're, we're matching the hatch. <laughs> uh, pike minnow become almost purely spiscivorous uh, once they read a certain length. I think it's like around 14 inches or so. And uh, what we have right now is a bunch of minnows, all like an inch, inch and a half. So we're, we're right around there. I was out here the other day and was doing pretty good with the semi-seal leech uh, pattern. Uh, with the same green and that's my go-to that I have a lot of luck with if you really want to do some damage to the species and help get them out of the river Try the olive semi seal. Let's see how this thing works. I haven't actually thrown this yet uh, It's not weighted at all it really does take a while to sink wow But you know, it's gonna stay in that strike zone for a long time <laughs> It wa- oh, a fish just went for it. I decided not to. All right, there's fish going for it. This thing wobbles. Kind of a nice little wobble. Whoa, slipping. All right, we are here. All right, little pikeys. Where you at? This sits kind of high up. And if a fish does hit it, I'm going to really see it. Definitely won't miss it. Oh. I was recording and I pushed stop. I was in the water pulling it through and a bunch of minnows jumped and then I had a fish on. <laughs> Let's see. Can't tell if it's a pike minnow yet. Yep, little pike minnow. Little guy. All right. All right, I got confidence in this tie. Let's get him on the shore so if he gets off, I can still get him. Because we're barbless, I don't want to lose him. We ain't losing any of these little bastards. Ooh, this guy's already got some damage on him. Check this out. A little, little osprey or something had, had his way with him. See the scrape on top that cut boom look how almost all, it looks like it was all the way through or maybe it was just a you know two talon grabs right there Ooh, there it is little bait fish pattern cool one down five million to go all right let's work it oh yeah see i freaking was standing on the point last time I got off the point and the fish were able to come back and use it as a hunting spot. That was great though. I wish I had it on film. As I was pulling it back, six or so fish jumped and then I had a fish on. Ooh, the wind. I'm glad it's working with me. And I'm really not trying to cast far. Just trying to get it just right where I put it. These guys seem to like the challenge too. So when one's checking it out, speed up. Obviously don't pull it out of their face, but if you just if you slow down they kind of hmm they think something's up it's like my buddy was telling me he goes no carp in a hundred years has ever oh fish hello fish action right there no carp in a hundred years has ever had a crawfish swim towards it uh, i think i got hit right there i didn't see the flash but oh there it is yep 
See, sometimes it takes them a minute to get it. They don't, uh... oh, this one's a little bigger, it feels like. They do multiple passes at it. Oh, there we go. Come on, guy. Let's get you over into the shallows so we can get you onto shore so we don't lose you. Marvelous. What's up, little dude? Want to, don't want to take you crabbing, buddy. They're all about the same size right now. Uh, 11. Big fish. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, that was a really, really good one. It's not my four pound test. Damn it. All right, so we're moving up to six pound. Holy crap, that sucked. That was a really good one. That was over, over 16 inches plus. Damn it, it looked kind of like a small mouth too. Shoot, 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 shoot. Our tip it to six pound test, uh, fluorocarbon. That was four pound mono that I had on there. I was having a lot of trouble last time I was out here with getting any bites. So I moved it down to four pound and then started catching a bunch of fish. A little bit of overcast, so I feel the fish are gonna be a little more brave. The ospreys can't say me. Oh, oh, missed it. You see that? Little boil up right on it. That was crazy, Diz. I felt it. There it is. Ba Boom! <laughs> Ooh, this one's a little fighter. It's kicking a bunch. Let's see if it's a small mouth real quick. I can't tell yet. If it's a small mouth, we'll try to... Well, we're always going to try to get it off pretty quick here. Because we don't want to lose it. Yep. Another pikey. It's like the perfect crab pot size. I'm naming this one Old Bay. Old Bay crab spices. I need to start removing some breeders, dang it. There we go, another one. Like a little 11, 12. Only about six inches. Or... Oh, there we go. Ah, that was a soft bite. This is probably a little guy. That was weird. I wonder if it's a sucker fish or something. Oh, ah, hey, there's a school with it. There's two or three more. They were cruising with them. Oh, let's see, I can't really tell. It could be a sucker fish. Nope, this is a pike minnow. <laughs> it's a crab bait minnow. Oh, it's just one of them crab bait minnows. Oh, it's okay. We're gonna brain you here in a second. Oh, there we go. What's up, dude? Crab bait. This is like cookie cutter fish here. They're all the same size. All right. Another one bites the dust. All right, let's get another one. Oh. A little something going on, a little boiling going on where I was. Let's drift it back there. Oh, ooh, that was a good hit. All right, let's do it again. He got bit though that time, so it's probably gonna be a lot more cautious of it or not bite it again. Maybe that school though. Yep, yep, yep. Someone checked it out. Someone checked it out. Ah, darn it. All right. That was a decent one that came up. Big old splash. I don't know if it mattered. Just drifted just a little more. Oh, shoot. There we go. That was a good one. That was a real good one. Yeah, yeah. Alright. He's angry. I wonder if I got him in his eye or something crazy. Because he was on the surface for quite a while. Ooh, he's, he's acting tough. He's acting tough. He's all tough. Oh, it's a good size one. There we go. Now we're talking. All right, this one's fatty. This one's got a little head on it. So, yeah, this one's going to fill the pot by itself. Oh, shoot. 
come back here. Come back here. Hold your horses, bucko. Beached like a whale. Nope. He says nope. Oh, shoot. This one's strong. He says nope. You ain't gonna horse me around, buddy. <laughs> Alright. Damn, come on. I'm gonna wallow out a big ass hole. This is a pretty decent sized hook. Oh, never mind. This one's pretty good. This one's a pretty small hook. Come on, guy. I'm putting up a fight. Oh, shoot. I haven't caught one this size in a while. This is not even a decent one. It's not small, it's like 16 inches. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's on the outside of the mouth. Let's check him out. Boom, boom. They're getting bigger. Look at that guy. Another pike minnow. Oh, almost put him in the water. <laughs> oh, there's one. It fed on something else out there. Now my fly is in the zone. Let's work it a bit. There we go. Oh, missed it. Missed it. Missed it. Missed it. There it is. Oh, missed it again. I had sla I slack lined right there. Maybe it didn't feel the bite though. It didn't feel the, dang it. That was good fun though. Good fun. Darn, shoot. Oh, what's up, Duckins? Oh, shoot. Don't, come on, don't get hooked up. Thank you, thank you. Oh shit, did you see that beautiful cast right there? I don't think I, could have cast there if I like honestly tried. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got us a, we got us a player. Let's bring you into the shore. Come aboard, matey. Oh. Oh. Man, I came on thinking it's a small mouth, getting all excited. But these pike minnows are fun. They got some fight on them. That's why I, I don't kill them senselessly. I found a reason to take them out of the river now. And so I'm gonna collect them as crab bait from here on out. I just can't kill shit for no reason. But now I have a reason to kill shit. So it's slow right now. <laughs> all right. Usually things gag a lot, but they haven't been doing it. Oh, you don't got much of a jaw to grab onto. It's just a baby. Oh, you got a little double hook going on, I see. There we go. There's another one. All right, so we're gonna try another fly today. We're gonna do my first attempt at fishing a tube fly. This is a tube fly. Let's see. There you go. The, the hook is on line that goes through the tube and the hook is out the back there. This is a no escape steelhead hook. Wire, uh, wireless, <laughs> it's a wireless hook. Um, barbless hook. And uh, we're gonna see if it will work out here. Um, it's pretty much the same pattern, the semi seal leech green or olive. So this should produce, it's the goal at least. Pretty happy with it. I think it'll do good. All right, let's put it in the water and see how it does. Deadly. Oh my gosh. Oh man, that looks great in the water. Um, put it over where we might actually see some action. Send it in there. Send it. Hard. Oh my gosh, he hit it hard. I thought I was recording. Yeah. Wow, he hit that really hard. That might even be a different kind of fish. Let's see. No, oh, just a pike. Just a little pikey. Cool. On my first uh, tube fly. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I tied a bunch of tube flies. This is the first one I actually caught a fish on. All right. Let's add them to our uh, crab bait collection. There we go. Just another pike minnow. Another like 14 incher. Cuckoo. 
Man, this thing keeps turning off. Maybe it's overheated. Well, I was just rambling on about how I'm gonna go take a lunch, catch one more fish. Here it is. All right, so we're gonna pull this guy in and stash these fish and then uh, go get lunch and then uh, come back out. Maybe we'll try another spot, but this place is producing. We've got so many right now. It's still that cookie cutter size that we got a bunch of. That's a little bigger. There we go. Boom, another one. So I got my lunch and I was sitting here chilling and I've been watching these fish jump right here. They're attacking stuff that's running for the surface. All right, here we go. Let's give it to them. It kind of looks like small now. It should be great to get another species. Oh, there we go. That was fast. First cast. Let's see what we got. <laughs> nice. Ooh, it's putting up a good fight. Oh, please be a smallmouth. Oh, no, it's just a big pike minnow. Nice. Ooh, he's putting up a good fight. He's trying to keep that tension on him. We'll have to start a little pile over here, too. Honestly, I don't, I don't know if my backpack can hold anymore. I may have to take fillets. <laughs> Oh, this is a good good size one. This is the best one so far today. I'm gonna have to work this one a little bit. This is gonna snap my line, I think, if I just try to hand line it. I think I might just wanna put them on the reel just so it's easier to... Oh, I thought I lost them. There we go. Let's go to the shallows with them. Oh, he's got... Oh! There's three more with them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna be getting some fish. All right. Ooh, come on. He's putting up a rip though. He is putting up a little fight. All right, now I'm not making so much noise. Oh. Look at this guy. Yeah, he's decent. This guy could fill a crab pot just by himself. You know, honestly, I've, I've caught my limit. So, as far as, uh, as much as I can put in my backpack and bring home. Let's see. Maybe someone else can use them for crab bait. Wink, wink. These bushes could use them for crab bait. Alright, come on, crab. Oh, shoot, you got me hooked up on the stick. That was good practice. He's a good fighter. These things always are though. Oh jeez. Try not to scare off all the other ones. I know there's more that want to come play. He's putting up a good fight. Putting up a good fight. I'm trying to get around that stick again. He says no sir. There we go, got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go, that was a fish. There is a fish. There we go. That's the biggest one today. All right, crab bait. Yeah. All right, let's get back out there. Let's do it again, my friends. Let's show these little pike minnows who's the boss. That was so fast. First cast. And this is the winner too. Fat female. 
Oh yeah, she has eggs coming out of her. She just squirted a bunch of eggs. Come on, there was a nice little school in here. Oh, that's a good one. Just went for it, missed it. Let's try to tease it a bit in there. Oh, that was a decent sized one. It rolled at it. It was like a swipe. Come on, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Can you see that fish? Oh, there we go. Got him. Oh, had him. You know, I don't know if that was an actual hooking. I think that was just like a mouth grab. There we go. So I can transfer this time without losing him. Ooh, it was a gnarly looking, gnarly looking fish. <laughs> it is gross looking. It is not very strong. Good thing we're taking these out of here today. It's a little mutant. There we go. So 14 incher. Back to the other spot. We already caught all our fish in this area. And uh, there's a bunch of kids that just showed up and they're about to get crazy over here in the water. All right, so heading down here to the spot we were at this morning. I've seen lots of fish jumping, lots of action. Minnows flying everywhere. Oh, see? <laughs> there it goes. Maybe there's just massive fish in here and they don't, they don't want this little thing. It ain't worth the effort. Oh, there it is. Oh, he's fighting. Rocky Balboa over here. I was about to give up. I was about to throw in the towel. Oh, he's fighting. See, that's why I said bigger fish. I didn't even put him on the reel. Well, he just, I already had a lot of line out. He's a contender. What's up, little buddy? What's you? What, what you is? Are you crab bait? See, we loading up on those crab baits today. This one's got some strength for how small it is. He says, I've been eating my weenies. Oh, what's up, big guy? Oh, that's nice. It's actually a nice size one. It's not the smallest one we've caught today. There we go. Let you get a, a gander at this little goose here. Before we have him join the rest. Oh yeah, look at that. Ba boom Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. They like shaking their little butt when you hold them like that. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. All right, to the crab pots to you. Ooh, there we go. That's a decent sized fish. Nice. Ooh, yeah. I don't know if this is the biggest today, but it is strong. It's really gold looking. A lot of head movement. Let's just bring it up. Ooh. Okay, it's just a pike minnow. It's got some strength though. Boom, boom. It's that cookie cutter size. What are they like? 16 feet, oh, 14 inches or so? Oh, wrong way. <laughs> there we go. I felt that one. That was a big hit. It's got a lot of power at this size right now. It's not even a huge one. A lot of power though. There we go. Another one. Ew, that one's got a gross sore on its head. <laughs> These things are pretty trashy looking anyway. <laughs> Let's see if we can get one nice decent one. Four or five. Oh, there's one. I don't know if it's decent, but there's one. Strong as well. Mm. 
Yeah, I just got a fat head. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a really decent one. This is not the biggest of the day, but it's maybe the second biggest. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Yeah. <laughs> Another one for the crab pot. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Something Fishy. We did a kick-ass job at removing pike minnows and collecting uh, crab bait. All right. So if you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you next time. Later. Thank you.